Hi, this is Sherry Veronica. Family Services went out to do a social assessment of Amara's mom. Her name is Tricia. And you're not, you're not going to hear the results. And the only reason that it was reported that they did do it was they were talking about her in Parliament and they were asking what services have been extended to her, you know, with what happened to her daughter, what services were extended. And they said that they sent a team out to meet with Tricia. Now, I feel 100% that Tricia really needs continuing help. That's what I feel. She said she reached out to government for assistance, living assistance, and she was denied. So I don't know if that's something that she needs at this time. She looks kind of heavily pregnant. She looks that way. I'm not saying she is, but she has, she looks as though she may be carrying a child. And if she is carrying a child, it could be for the guy that she lived with and the guy who unalived her daughter, Amara. Amara. Now, when I spoke about her before, I say she was too calm. She was really calm. And I saw her in a subsequent video. And again, again, she was calm. She was with the actual father of the child because it was a stepfather who unalived the child. So the father was there. Both of them were very calm considering what happened to the little four-year-old, okay? So yeah, I think Tricia Villarua, she needs to be helped. She needs to be assisted. She needs to be, you need to check in on her. You need to check in on Tricia every now and again. And especially, especially, in this photo, she looks heavily pregnant. If she's pregnant, she may need food. She may need vitamins, whatever. But I really think that the government, the Family Services and Social Development Ministry need to keep an eye on not only her, but women like her who even in the, even when everything has reached a crescendo, everything is out in the open everything has been everything that can be said has been said she is still defending the guy i don't know if you realize that she is still defending the guy okay up until that moment that he did what he did she's still saying that he was pretty cool he was pretty okay he was a nice guy so she needs um to um be followed if she's having another child I, I guess the government can't do anything about it, but, you know, neighbors, neighbors can keep an eye on things and make a report here and there if need be. And with the history of what has happened, maybe maybe the authorities will, pl will pay a closer attention to Tricia and uh, whatever else goes on in her life it's really a sad thing it's really hard to talk about it's a sad thing it's a very very sad affair that happened here he the stepfather has been incarcerated and innocent until proven guilty but we all know because she said that where she left the child and we knew we know well from the reports we're hearing we feel we know that we have an idea of what went down because um, a child ended up on alive so yeah something has to give something somebody has to pay for what happened but in the meanwhile Tricia needs to help I'm telling you I'm telling you she needs help okay she needs help this is Sherry Veronica help me spread the word about naked departure via social media subscribe and share to show support and love for our channels